Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Jack Journeys. Today's date is Friday the 19th of August. It's 7.21. We're down at Gull Station. Today's journey, we are going to York. But usually when I go York, I go via Doncaster or Gilbertike. Except today's journey is slightly different because we're going to go round in a figure of eight shape, basically crossover in the middle. This morning we shall be travelling via Doncaster. Yes, we'll go via Doncaster this morning. And then this afternoon's train plan takes us via Leeds. That's right, we go via Leeds, but also we're going via the Harrogate Loop line this afternoon. Now, originally we were going to be going via Leeds both ways, however due to the strike that happened yesterday, the train from Gould to Leeds got cancelled. Never mind. So we'll go via Doncaster this morning. Uh, this morning's train plan, it's the 0749 Northern service to Sheffield, take that train as far as Doncaster, going at 4 North, Hatfield and Stainforth, Kirk Sandal and Doncaster, Jin Doncaster for 0818. Then we're on the 0903, Alinear Azuma service to Edinburgh, take that train one stop to York. So that's part of the figure, right? We're actually going to be crossing over all four Yorkshire boundaries because we're in East Yorkshire. When we go down to Doncaster, we'll be going into South Yorkshire and we go to York, that's North Yorkshire, and then this afternoon we go via Leeds and Harrogate, that's West Yorkshire. When I get to York I'll explain the return train plan, but what it's going to include, it's going to be including the parliamentary train service that runs from Gull to Leeds. Basically it's a train that runs once a day in each direction. There's a 7.42 from here to Leeds and then there's a 17.58 service from Leeds to Gull. Now between Nottingley and Leeds it forms a regular train service. So, but then once it leaves Nottingley it actually becomes the parliamentary train service. So. Originally we were going to catch it both ways, but as I said earlier, because of the strikes, the train this morning got cancelled. I should mention, when it comes back, it actually forms an evening service, the Leeds, via Nottingley. 1942 service. So technically there are two trains from here to Leeds, and one coming in. Sit back and enjoy this Travel Jacks journeys. And during the episode, we are going to be crossing over to a new feature to travel direction is station visits. We're going to be visiting Rawcliffe and Snaith, but you'll we'll see them later on in the episode. So I'm going to do, I'm going to wait on the platform and wait for the 749 service to Sheffield to turn up. Hopefully it should be a good day. Well, it depends on the weather as well.
Quickly, Mark and Jefferson, turn the pump forward to a new line. Right, 8.25, we're at Doncaster, we've got a bit of an issue. The 0903 service, that in the other one, to Edinburgh, has left London 36 minutes late. <clears throat> so we're going to be late getting to York. at the moment it's just going past Huntington still 36 minutes late never mind here's a tip if you've got some, somewhere to be plan to get there an hour early just in case something like this happens because when I get to York I've actually got to go and do some business well something I've got to do and I'm meant to be there at half 10 so yeah that's the problem when you travel from between the strikes, try and get delayed. Never mind. Oh, here's an Azuma. Play on your 204. I like a Zoomers, or a Zoom in. My favourite one is 802305. Right, so I'm going to go and take a little break, then I'll board that train when it turns up. I'll keep you in it. That's just a pair of 37s. I'll keep you informed on the, on the length of the delay. It's currently 36 minutes late, which means it could be a delay claim for this morning already. Good if it is. Right, 906. We're still in Doncaster because we're waiting for the train, which has been delayed. So, this one, that was what I was getting whilst the train was being delayed. So, we're going to sit tight, wait out this delay, wait for the train to arrive. Hello, 158823. When seen you since Telford days. Nice to see it up here.
Hello 158823. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for ages. Nice throwback to my Telford days. I believe it's going to be on a seat for it. I do a lot of work at Doncaster Works here. Not much good catch my zoo because it's just playing in now. Let's get back to your. Alright, 801. 207, it will take me to York.
change here for trains to Harrogate, Malton, and Scarborough. If you're leaving us here, please make sure you take all your personal belongings with you. Thank you for traveling with LNER. o'clock we've made it to York now we are 29 minutes late 
Now, unfortunately, that is not. Now, unfortunately, that's not a delay claim. All right. This afternoon, we're going to be leaving York. We're going to go that way, round the corner, up past the NRM, turn left, and join the Harrogate Loop line. And that's it for me for now. Let's cross over to the least used station in East Yorkshire in station visits. I'm going to go and do some events, so something in the railway museum, just to show you after station visit for the return journey down to Gaul, where we're going to go via the Harrogate Loop Line and Leeds, just to see you for that. Good evening and welcome to station visit for all the time. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm saying the evening because it is about six o'clock in the evening when we're filming this. Today's date is Tuesday. No, sorry, Thursday, the 11th of August. I'm in a village just outside Ghoul called Rawcliffe. Rawcliffe Green is over there. We are going to be going to visit the least used station in East Yorkshire. Yeah, there's just three trains a day, Monday to Friday. I'll explain the service pattern when we get there. And we're on one of them. Excellent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk to the train station. And basically, go and have a look at Rawcliffe Station. Now, the village is up here. The station is a 20 minute walk that way. And if we miss the train, it's a two hour walk back to Ghoul. Yeah. And this is the only train. Yeah. Sit back and enjoy this station visit journey. Right, right, before we start walking, that's the most obvious way out of Rawcliffe. You get the bus. Kareva run an hourly service into Ghoul route. 401. That goes to Selby via Snaith. The other alternative is East Yorkshire. They run a bus to Rawcliffe Bridge and then to Gaul. There's only four of them a day. Now where the station is, it's between Rawcliffe and Rawcliffe Bridge. There's a canal that runs from Gaul Ghoul and it basically the railway foot long runs alongside it. Yeah, so it's, a, it's about a 20 minute walk down to Rawcliffe Station. And then, if, if you're interested, Rawcliffe Bridge is 20 minutes after that. Coincidentally, we're actually going to be walking along. Station Road. And I don't know if you can see me top. Hello Richard from Dadville. Thanks for your t-shirt. Absolutely fantastic as anything. So if you want to check out Dadville, up there in the corner, takes you to the Dadville YouTube channel. Guy called Richard is a train driver in the south of England. And he does videos and train simulator videos as well. So I'll stop talking, I'll see you. Well I'll do a few more a few shots. And I'll see you down at Rawcliffe Station. I should be honest, this isn't the first time I've been down here. Because last week when we were filming this, well, when, when this, when, basically, yeah, the week before filming, I actually came down here to have a look at it to make sure it was doable. And then I got the bus, because there are actually a few bus stops down along this road as well. So I'll show you them as well. When we get to the station, we'll look around the station and we'll wait for the train to arrive. If it's cancelled, as I said, it's a long walk to Gaul. Well, there's one of the bus stops. 
there's actually a few bus stops down here. Uh, temperature wise, I'm glad we're doing this in the evening. But the temperatures have been up to 31 degrees. We've got a heat wave in the area at the moment. Yeah, 31 degrees. But at least on an evening it's starting to cool down. My me smartwatch is saying 31 degrees at the moment. But to be honest, that thing doesn't get updated very often. And so we've just gone past Rawcliffe School. I actually know some people who live in Rawcliffe. A couple of my friends who go down the Thorn Park Railway. And I don't think they've ever caught the train from this station. Yeah, this bit here well, is, is another bus stop. Yeah, so this road we're walking along is actually where the 88 goes from Gore to Rawcliffe Bridge. The road actually goes further than Rawcliffe Bridge. It goes through to... I think it pops into Fawn. Yeah, pops into Fawn. Top end called Moor Ends. I think that's what how they say it. Pity there isn't a bus that runs from Moor Ends to Gull. The motorway is over there. I think that's the M62. Yeah, M62. And there's a junction at Sherman which branches off the M18. I think, don't quote me on that. I'm sure someone in the comment section will correct me. Here, here's our next clue that we're coming up to the railway. We've got the level crossing sign. Station is just round the corner and there's the two station bus stops actually. Here we are, at Royal Cliff Station. We've got about half an hour before the train's due. That uh, gives us half an hour to look at the station facilities. So over there is the station entrance. I'm just gonna have a look at around this side of the station before we catch the train. So we'll go over that other crossing. That's the line going down towards Ghoul. That's the line going towards Leeds. Rawcliffe. If you go that way, Rawcliffe Bridge and then the canal walk to Ghoul. Right, let's do station facilities. There is a timetable. Right, there's just three trains. Here's the one going to Leeds at 7.50. There's an evening one from Gould to Leeds, which is this one, at 19.51. And then in the opposite way, there's nothing, 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 nothing till that one, which is 17.50, at no, 18.58. So here we've got timetable information. Got a little map here. So there's Gull, there's Rawcliffe. It's a very short platform. There is a there is a bin. Right. The station opened in 1848. It's on the Pontefract line that goes from Gull 
to Pontefract. It's known as a parliamentary train service because it's only just just the limited service. A very quiet station. Well, they've actually updated the information boards. I mean, there's, there's no ticket machine, so I've got to buy my ticket on the train. There is a waiting shelter. Yeah, parliamentary service. Basically, if, if they wanted to close this route, which <clears throat> if they had their way, they probably would do, you'd have to go through parliament and it costs a lot of money so it's actually cheaper to run a limited service than rather than going through the par parliament to close the route. Sun is out. Yes, it's a very short platform. That's the tracks heading off to Castleford. I believe we have got a class 150 on today's train. Now, I've actually been on this train a couple of times. One time I had to, when I was going to Chester actually, I came this way to get to Leeds because it was easier. And then the one day I was up in York actually, and I came back via Leeds because I was using the city zapper from York to Leeds and made it, made it onto this train at Leeds. So you've seen the train times. Now I did snafe on the bus and there's no time to have information there. Now passenger numbers from 2019 to 2020, 330 passengers used this station within that year. Obviously when I do a least use station that, that's the number we'll go by. 2019 to 2020 because we won't mention the 2020 to 2022 figures because they'll be all out because of the pandemic enough is said about the pandemic this station gets more bus service than it does actually train service and on a few weeks ago when the strikes were on the railways this had no service but Arriva buses are on the strike as well, so technically Rawcliffe got cut off. But East Yorkshire still ran the 88 service. I hope you can see me on camera because I'm in the sunlight. That's better. So it's now 25 past 6, train will be here in half an hour. That'll take us one stop to Ghoul. Yeah, so as I said, if you want to buy, board the train here. You can do, but you've got to buy on the train because there's no ticket machine here. Or unless you want to buy in advance. It's now 10 to 7. The train will be here in approximately 8 minutes time. I'm still the only passenger on the platform. So I've got a feeling I'm going to be the only person to board this train going into Gaul. There'll be a few people on it already because this has come from Leeds. Because this is bit because the way that this works is actually a commuter service between Gaul and Leeds. The same people are going via Doncaster. So in the morning he gets to Leeds about five to nine. And then coming back, it leaves Leeds at five to six, approximately. Yeah, so it looks like I'm the only passenger that's going to be boarding the train at Rawcliffe. And then we'll have to buy a ticket from the guard. Because no ticket facilities here, I've got to buy and I'm going to pay in cash. So the guard will get a nice surprise, because I don't think many people board it here yeah, going this way into Gaul. I think I think when I did it going to Leeds, someone did actually board here at Rawcliffe, but I presume they were going to college in in Leeds or possibly not in Leeds. Here it comes, 
This is the 1856 Northern Service to Gull, calling at Gull only. One fifty two two eight. Very low platform. down to Doncaster, where we usually go.
train terminate. Customers are reminded to keep all personal belongings with them at all times. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the British Transport Police. We hope you've enjoyed travelling with Northern today. As you leave the train, please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. So we've now made it back to Goul. Now this train has terminated here. Well, oh, it's over there now. It's going to go up to the top and come onto the other track and then form the, the 1942 service to Leeds and go for Rawcliffe. Yeah, so that's the only train that goes from Rawcliffe to Goul. The only one. Um, I'm going to walk home now and end the show. In fact, I'll end it here, actually. Uh, yeah, today we did a station visit up to... Cliff. Not, not a bad little station. Platform was oh, low. Just, when, just be careful. When they do say, please mind the gap between the train and the platform, they do mean it, especially at Rawcliffe. Um, not a lot going on at Rawcliffe, to be honest with you. There's a basic platform and a single track. And then we've got 150.228 back to Ghoul. It's, so I had to pay the guard my my train fare. And plus I wanted the souvenir as from today's journey. Yeah, the 150 is currently over just there. I hope you've enjoyed this station visit to Rawcliffe. We might do some more of these station visits when we go to a station, have a look around and come back. We might do. That'll be a future idea. If you, are, if you have got any suggestions for stations that you want to see be visited on this show, let me know in the comments below, and I will look at them. And if it's interesting, I can get to it. I might go to it. All right, that's it for me. I shall see you for another episode of Station Visits or another episode of Travel Jack's Journeys. Bye for now.
Welcome back to Travel Jack Shinies. It's time for the return journey to Gaul. Now we are going to go by Harrogate. So we can Extended the Nairsborough resort to York, so now we get two Harrogate trains an hour, which is quite good. I think I know which train it's going to be, but as soon as it turns up, I shall film it. So let's go and get our train to Leeds via Harrogate. We get Har get to Leeds, and we've got an hour to wait for the train to go. Here comes my train. This will form 15:42. Northern service to Leeds via Harrogate. This is 17475 operating 15.42 Northern Series to, to Leeds via Harrogate. It's 17475. And yes, it's the Stalker. <laughs> Had a feeling it would be this actually because I saw it earlier. Hello 17475. Had a feeling if it's not going to turn up on Google, it will turn up on the Harrogate Loop Line and it has. Excellent.
mainly class 170s. Service is, is three trains an hour between Leeds and then Harrogate, and then two go on to York. And they are also run a service from London Kings Cross to Harrogate. That was a four foot, and then Harrogate. Now, on this section, well, this train, we are using the month's ticket between York and Leeds. And I didn't realise when I booked it that it was going to be doing the Harrogate loop line. Because I looked here for one hour, I thought that's Harrogate loop line. I don't mind because at least we get a nice 170 and the air conditioning is working. Excellent. Let's continue the journey. I should point out I've done this once in a previous travel text journey to the look around Harrogate. Click up there to watch. That was just, a, just over two years ago. Great to see semaphore signals still in service. Fantastic. It's a lovely light. On arrival at Leeds, we shall be catching the once a day direct train from Leeds to Gould via Nottingham. This will be one of them a day. And I have been told there are signalling problems on this line at the moment. Hopefully, you won't cause too much problems. I'm always saying that we've got an hour in Leeds, so not too bad. Let's continue the train ride, just coming to our next station. We're just arriving into Hampton.
Sonic Ocean, but that has a Sonic G, but there's where the same Sonic K.
just start on their service down to London using this siding just here. Platform numbers at Harrogate are platforms one and three. It used to be a platform two, it used to be a bay platform. They got to take out many years ago. So this is Harrogate, definitely in West Yorkshire. And it's very posh in Harrogate. Very expensive as well. Might have been thought it's cheap. Just for a reason. Don't mind, so I just get about it. Harrogate. Now, every year the Great Yorkshire Show comes on from the like Harrogate as well. Like the agents that they work with, like.
you're going to announce the collaborator later, the service service. Please remember to take over the long as you do. Retain tickets to other station at the barrier. You're just a secure ticket, I suppose. You're going to be with them. There's no reason to talk to us from the station. You don't notice that you've got us being suspicious, please report to the latest member of staff. You can text the British Hospital Police on 61016. This is next to the final stop. Five to five, we're now here at Leeds. This is where we're going to get the 1758 Northern service to Gould by Nottingley. This is the once a day service to Gould. Might be a busy train, but don't really matter. I'm going to film 174, 75 out actually before we go and get that train. Right, so we're here at Leeds, we're just here to change trains, we're not really going to do any train spotting. Over there behind me, platform zero. I don't see the point of that. Do -do -dush. That money gets used by the Ilkley trains and the Harrogate Loop Line trains. That was added in, I think, about two years ago, I think, actually. So now I'm going to hang on Leeds a bit and get my train to Ghoul. As I said, this is the once a day direct train to Ghoul. If this gets cancelled, well, I'll go go via Doncaster. Can't believe that. Done arrogant loop line, yes, 174.75. To be fair, it's the first time I've had it on arrogant loop lines. But to be fair, I've only done arrogant loop line twice now. So, oh, oh hang around around later a bit. And then get me train to Gull. Yeah, so this is definitely West Yorkshire. So we leave here. I think it's till when we get to Snaith. That's when we cross back into East Yorkshire. Snaith is only just in East Yorkshire. And there it is, at the bottom of the screen. The 1758 Northern service to Gull. 17A, the one train that runs up here to go. Guess what? We are catching it all the way to go. Right, can't see it coming in because the platform is very busy. But here comes my train, which is the Wolf the 1758 Northern series to go. It is on 50. That's a train. So I caught this train when it was on 8 on 
Mercedes 152 operating the 1758 Northern Series to Gould by not only. It is a very busy train. First line because it'll get quiet after night May. Office. The building uh, another platform there. This is where the train reverses. Now one thing I can't stand about these blue Northern 150s is the leg room. What leg room? That's why I don't like catching these 150s if I can help it. I'd rather have a 158 any day. At least the leg room is great on those. Uh, yeah so this is a regular service between Leeds and not in me. Leave not in late, it becomes the parliamentary train service. I'm just about to leave Castleford. central stop here as well. I believe it's on the London King's Cross to Bradford Interchange service because it goes via Doncaster. Next stop's not in me.
we are at Nineley. This is where we are now, the parliamentary train service to Gould. Usually this is where the trains terminate. But not this one.
was just about to arrive into Hensel. Now, I believe Hensel is the least used station in North Yorkshire. And I believe a few celebrities have been to Hensel before, including Mr. Portillo, when he did an episode of Great British Railway Journeys. So we're just arriving into Hensel. Very shortly after Hensel, the line will drop down to single track all the way to Gould.
planks. The platform must be that sh short because only the rear coach will be platformed. The advisor here was that short. first station visit. This is Snaith. Now we'll do a quick look at facilities. Just a single platform with a level crossing. There is a waiting shelter, two bins, there's one there yet, yeah. we've never been over there. Now there are no timetable displays here, but I've, I know the train time is through here. Through here there's only three tr trains that stop. You've got a 755 service to Leeds, which is the one that we're on. You've got an 1852 service to Gaul which is the one we're catching back later in this episode, but we're going to get it from Leeds. And there's also a 1955 service to Leeds. So there's not a lot of service along this section of track. There's only yeah, those three trains that come through here, and it's the same train. Yeah, but you do get a bit of freight traffic through here. There's the level crossing. To be honest, that's how I actually got to Snaith. I jumped on the 401 from Ghoul because it's due to its limited service. What we'll do, we're going to have a look at the foot crossing. Then I'll hand you back over to me on the train. We'll have a closer look at this waiting shelter. Fortunately, there is another way to Snaith. You've got the bus that runs every hour from the Selby to Gaul Route 401. Let's have a look at Route 401. So here is the waiting shelter, quite basic. This is your onward travel. Yeah, it's just 401, 401, 401. 
that a lot here. The platform here is very short. I think it's even struggle with two car train. There are trains that have come down in here, 158s, 150s and 155s. And of course those inverse what's the word? Pace of buses I've been through here. Right, we're going to walk down to the foot crossing, it's only just over there. Northern any chance you can put a timetable there to help people know when the train is due. That might be a very good idea. Hint, hint, Northern. If you're listening. Right, so I'm in the car park. To be honest, I think the locals just use it to get to the shops. But now look at that foot crossing. Found the foot crossing. It's right next to a dental place. So that's the foot crossing. The line does actually double up a bit further along because of the line just behind the houses that come out of Drax Power Station. So that was you look at Snaith. Not a lot going on. It used to have more service back in the old days. Used to. Uh, that's it from this station visit. Let's draw me back on the train.
god someone got off must have been watching Traveller Jack's journeys and must be the only passenger of the year so far
train terminate. Customers are reminded to keep all personal belongings with them at all times. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the British Transport Police. We hope you've enjoyed travelling with Dolphin today. As you leave the train, please find the gap between the train and the platform edge. So you, so you know, this is the junction that goes down to Doncaster. So we are very close to arriving into Cool. Just grab me model train. Don't want to forget that. And that's how you do it. That train now is going to go up to the sidings, cross back over, and then do the 1942 Northern service to Leeds via Nottingley. The first train of the day and the last train of the day. Because the one this morning, it didn't run. Because we were meant to be on that train. That's made my day. Right, I'm going to walk home now, since I can't get a bus home. Never mind. Um, I should do an outro, probably on the docks actually. But yeah, that's been a fantastic day out. No problems whatsoever, apart from the half hour delay this morning. Before I start walking back, let's just watch the train cross into the other platform. Right, I'm walking back through the docks, back home. Uh, what a fantastic episode it's been. 
considering it went wrong this morning. This morning we've got the 749 service to Doncaster. We have 170, can't remember the number actually. <laughs> it's been a long day. And then I've got 801207 and the slightly running 0903 LNR Azuma service to Edinburgh. It was 30 minutes late, but when we got to York, it made a little bit of time. I think it made about six minutes up. Then at York, I went off to my event at the Railway Museum. And as I did that, you lot watched Station Visit when we went to Royal Cliff. And that day, when I filmed it, no one got off the train, apart from me getting on it. After that, we got 170.475. The leads via the Harrogate Loop Line. That's the 1542 service. And to be honest, I had a sneaky feeling it might have been 174 or 75. So I looked at it on real time trains. Because with the Northern trains and some train operating companies, actually, you can check the unit numbers, which is handy to know. So we went via Harrogate, despite the signalling problems, it didn't really hold us up, it only held us up by about five minutes, if that, we soon made it back. Then at Leeds we had a little bit of time to catch the 1758 service, Northern service, to Goole via Nottingley. Bloody how the train was packed leaving Leeds, but as I expected. Most people had gone off by not in me, there was only a handful on, but they were in the rear carriage. So I had the whole front carriage from not in me to go cool by myself. Uh, what else turned up? Oh yeah, 158823. We saw that at Doncaster this morning. See if we'd gone via Leeds this morning, but we were not seen that. Uh, I am going to put the train times of the parliamentary service between Leeds and Go in the description box below. So if you do want to go and catch it, you can do. Uh, it's the 742 service from Go to Leeds in the morning. Gets to Leeds, I think it's 5 to 9. Then it leaves at 17.58. And it's back into Go at 19.07. And then the evening trip, uh, 1942 service to Leeds. I think it gets into Leeds at 5 to 9. But that does not return back to Gore. It goes, I think, does a service, not only. Because when it gets to Leeds in the morning, I think it bounces back between not only and Leeds all day until that trip in the afternoon. Uh, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. As I said, oh yeah, we did a station visit to Snaith as well. That was a new feature for Trial Junction. Station visit. Uh, that's it from me. I would say you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, but I don't really do that bit for Travel with Jack Jennies. Thank you all for watching this show. I shall see you all for another episode of Travel Jack's Journeys. Bye for now.
they fear to subscribe to Trump and Guinea and what pregnant and burnt off Trump do. Click here.